Revelation. 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 Take note. The director of the U.S. CDC Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Dr. Robert Redfield, has just released a statement concurring with the prophecy of 2020 from Prophet T.B. Joshua concerning humility. He made this statement as he testified before the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee. Don't forget, the Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros Ghebreyesus, also gave the same statement about humility, as did Chief Justice of the USA, John Roberts. Let us listen to them. We're, we're going to probably spend close to $7 trillion, all right, because of one little virus that came. We've all done the, the best that we can do to tackle this virus. And the reality, it brought this nation to its knees. For all the economic, military, and technological might of nations, we have been humbled by this very small microbe. If this virus is teaching us anything, it's humility. Time for humility. Six months ago, it would have been inconceivable to most that the world's biggest cities would fall early quite, that shops, restaurants, schools, and workplaces would be closed, that global travel would grind to a standstill, that simply shaking hands could be life-threatening. Members of the Westminster Class of 2020, congratulations. I think the pandemic is the world's way of saying to mankind, you're not in charge. The pandemic has pierced our illusion of certainty and control. There are three things you might want to focus on to meet that challenge. The first is humility. The pandemic should teach us at least that. This is what Prophet T.B. Joshua had warned the world about for over a decade. Let us listen to his prophecies in 2008 and 2011 on the crisis to come that would bring the world to its knees in humility. Revelation, Revelation, Revelation. Take note. That will be economic crisis. You have to cut your coat according to your size. Those of you that have surplus, whatever you can do now to live moderate, the only way you can be saved if your treasure is in the hand of God. There will be economic crisis is coming and it's everywhere. You will be forced to humble. Tell your neighbor, you will be forced to humble. I'm just telling you long time prophecy. Not immediately, what you, you can begin to prepare yourself now. I said to you, there will be economic crisis. The war, the whole world will face now is economic war. You will see every nation, every country will come out going on the street protesting and you have not seen anything, write it down. Everyone will be humble. Those who rely on oil, mineral resources, they should look beyond. Because there will be even no, enough money to buy oil. There's something God wants to achieve concerning this. God wants to achieve humility to the call. He want everybody to be on their knee. Every nation to be on their knee. After that, the solution will come. That is what God wants to achieve. And the reality, it brought this nation to its knees. If this virus is teaching us anything, it's humility. Time for humility. 
The first is humility. The pandemic should teach us at least that. On December 28, 2019, when the fulfillment of these prophecies was imminent, Prophet T.B. Joshua declared that 2020 would be the year of humility. Let us listen to the prophecy. Prophecy for 2020, Prophet T.B. Joshua. These prophecies were released on 28 December 2019, but made available on 5th January 2020. This year will be a year of humility. This year, the Lord will humble us with our challenges. Challenges can be affliction, arrogance, pride, wickedness, or bad habits. To humble us with these is for these things to destroy us or expose us. Let us move closer to God. There's something God wants to achieve concerning this. God wants to achieve humility to the core. 